वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर एस एस टी टीचर वंदना जोशी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एस एस टी जून स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज चैप्टर सिक्स हिस्ट्री दैट इज वीवर्स आयरन स्मेल्टर्स एंड द फैक्ट्री ओनर्स दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर सो लेट्स रिवाइज दीज इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स so let's see what was the decline of indian handicraft as we know that was the era of deindustrialization deindustrialization means decline of any industry so it was the deindustrialization of the handicrafts before the advent of britishers india led the world in the production of cotton textile but after the 18th century when the britishers came and they started their trades in india it was the time of deindustrialization in our country or we can say the deindustrialization of indian handicraft earlier there were a large number of rulers and the nobles in india who patronized craftsmen however as the british gained control over more and more territories the rulers and the nobles receded from prominences as such the craft person could not more be given patronage and it hastened their decline before the arrival of british the indian goods were exported to other countries in large cargo ships they carried finished goods from india and on their return journey brought other finished goods from other countries however the british did not allow the indian ships to carry goods from the british port on the other hand the british ships carried finished goods from britain and raw material from india this is also a reason of decline of indian craft work so what was the effect of the decline of traditional industries due to decline of indian textile industry weaver and the spinners lost their livelihoods and became agricultural laborers thus putting more pressure on the already overburdened agriculture some migrated to cities to work in the new cotton mills of bombay ahmedabad sholapur nagpur kanpur etc some of them went out of the country to work in the plantation in africa and south america but after that there was a revival of the industry in the textile a mill in ahmedabad was started in 1861 and then after that it was followed by a mill in kanpur in the united provinces in 1862 then after that there were a number of mills increased from 178 with 4.05 lakhs loom in 1901 to 249 mills with 13.35 lakh looms apart from the cotton mills jute mills came up in bengal in 1855 other industries which developed were rice flour timbers woolen textiles cotton pressures sugar cement paper matches iron and the steel industry now let's see the other industry that is the iron and steel industry in india the tata iron and steel company was the first modern indian and steel company in india it was established during 1907 to 11 in india especially in the area of jamshedpur which is situated in chatisgarh After the death of Jamshed Ji Tata his son Dhorab Ji Tata established a steel plant on the bank of the river Subandrekha and named his industries town as the Jamshedpur later it was changed into Tusco Tata Iron and Steel and started producing steel in 1912 and it was very helpful in the world war first because most of the weapons Uh, were supplied from the tata iron and steel industry here one more important thing it was the modernization of the iron and steel industry but what was the history of iron and steel industry in india before tisco 
द आयरन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया वॉज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द वुड स्टील वुड स्टील इज अ कैटेगरी ऑफ स्टील विच वॉज द स्टील इट वॉज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन मैनी रूरल एरियाज ऑफ इंडिया स्पेशली इन द साउथ इंडिया द वर्ड वुड मीन्स स्टील ओनली एंड इट इज ड्राइव फ्राम द तेलुगू लैंग्वेज विच इज हुकू उक्कू और वी कैन से उरुक्कू इन मलयालम एंड द मीनिंग ऑफ वुड और वी कैन से हुक्कू उक्कू और उरुक्कू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज स्टील ओनली वुड वॉज अ हाईली कार्बन स्टील एंड इट रिक्वायर्ड अ काइंड ऑफ स्पेशल टेक्निक्स ऑफ रिफाइनिंग आयरन आयरन वॉज मिक्सड विद चारकोल एंड पुट इन साइड स्मॉल क्ले पॉट्स दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टील वॉज फाउंड नॉट ओनली इन इंडिया बट इन सेंट्रल एंड वेस्ट एशिया ऑल्सो द इंस्टाइजेशन इन इंडिया वॉज स्लो एंड इरेटिक ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ टू रीजन्स वन वॉज द लैक ऑफ कैपिटल एंड लैक ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टू स्टैब्लिश हैवी मशीनरीज फैक्ट्रीज एंड द सेकेंड वॉज द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द ब्रिटिश which favored the development of only those industries which would profit the british students it was a short revision of the chapters we were iron smelters and the factory owners here i am providing you few questions and you can give answers of these questions by commenting on the comment box